All right, now here is an interesting update that we are going to get for the NAV Star module on GoodLock application. GoodLock team has added a new feature, a new customization feature, which we will discuss in today's video. But before we do that, if you're interested in this beautiful wallpaper, it's available on our wallpaper application Wallverse. We also added a few live wallpapers on the application. We've got both premium and free wallpaper collections here. You can unlock them by uh, upgrading to premium. If you're interested, go ahead and check out the link in the description. Now let's dive in. Let's go to GoodLock lock application now this is enemy star let me tap on the eye icon let's go to the galaxy store and let me share the uh, change log that we have here the latest version is 8.0.00.2 and here it says uh, supports one ui 8 devices so if your phone is on one ui 8 beta currently the s25 series then you will be getting this update very soon and probably on the galaxy z fold 7 and the flip 7 you might be able to see this update it says fixed keyboard layout issue on the flip cover screen improved ui errors occurring while uh, using enemy star swipe gestures and the new feature is added side back gesture icon customize the arrow image of the back gesture with your own image this sounds pretty interesting so let's go ahead and check this out let me open the application now here you can see this is enemy star using which we can customize the buttons or swipe gestures. If you're someone who use buttons, then you can enable this and you can select the configuration here for the buttons. You can see there are various different styles and we also have the show and hide button option. You can customize navigation uh, bar height as well. Now I'm a swipe gesture guy, so let me tap on swipe gestures here. You can see I have already enabled this and we can customize our swipe gestures using various different options here. And the new option that you see here is this side back gesture icon. Let me just quickly bring in the Galaxy S24 Ultra and let me uh, show you the previous version. Let's open NAV Star here and here you go. You can see there's a difference here. We've got arrow uh, customization and background customization, color customization option here. Right below that we can see side back gesture icon and reset option that we had before. Now that is a change. Now let me open this specific feature here and show you guys what we have in store. Let me open side back gesture icon. You can see this is what we have now. We've got various different styles here. Let me just zoom it in, focus the uh, this panel here. You can see we have got various different options here to set. Now, for example, let me select the burger here. As you can see, the back gesture has got this burger, uh, which is funny. I mean, I'm not sure why all these options are given here. Uh, not sure how many people will be using this, but yeah, there are some options like this button here, which looks cool. Let me just show you this. This is how it looks. You can see this looks nice. And likewise, we have got a few more options. Like we have got the arrow button here. You can see this is how it looks. And if you are into something like these stickers, like cats, dogs, or any other stickers, you can have them as well. And we've got some colorful options also here. You can see we've got sun here, which looks like this. And if you want to uh, add something from your gallery, you can add that as well. We've got the gallery icon here. Let me tap on this and let me select gallery. I can pick up any image here. Let's say I pick up my cat's image. It will show up right here. Uh, I wish we had an option to increase the size of this back gesture image. That would have been cool because if I select anything from the gallery, it will be tiny and it doesn't look good. Now, if you want to be more creative, you can actually create a sticker and set it up. Let me show you that. I've already created some stickers inside the gallery. Uh, let me pick that sticker over here. Let's go to the albums. we have got clipped images here. I've got Donald Duck here, which I just selected. And this is how it looks. You can see, let me just go to the settings here and let me open a specific option here yeah now you can see this is how this back gesture looks uh, the sticker is showing up right here you can select whichever sticker you want i mean again uh, not very sure why would somebody be using all these customization options some standard options will be really good but uh, so many options like this which may not look that cool and i don't think anybody would be using all these stickers which you see here some standard options like these these arrows would look pretty decent but yeah, i mean again it depends uh, from person to person it is subjective somebody might prefer using these stickers somebody might prefer using an image itself and someone may use the clipped images it depends on you uh, but we do have this option it's good to see and it's my job to inform you guys about what we have got 
Let me know what you think about this. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Now this is a pretty cool module and this is the new uh, feature which we got. But apart from this, there are some cool customization options for the back gesture icons. Uh, let me just reset this. And now you can see this is the standard option that we have. If you want to change the color of the arrow, you can do that. Let me just select green over here, tap on done. And let me select the background, maybe uh, blue, done. And this is how it looks. You can see it looks pretty cool. Uh, I think this customization is very nice, but you know, the something that they have added now may not be that attractive, uh, at least to me it is not that attractive, but you let me know what you think. Apart from that, we can also customize the back gesture sensitivity here. You can see we got these sliders here. We can change the sensitivity. Let me just increase it to high. Now you can see this is the area uh, where you will be able to use the swipe gesture. If you reduce it, you will have to swipe from all the way from the uh, edge of the screen. If you prefer something like that, you can set that up or you can just probably uh, bring it to the second point and leave it. That is something standard. And uh, similarly, you can change the right back gestures as well. And you can also customize the gesture handle width here. You can see when I increase it, the width increases here and I decrease it, it comes down. If you want to keep a clear screen, then you can probably reduce it to small. And you can also change the transparency here. If you want to make it completely transparent, you can see I can just reduce it. The visibility is quite minimal here. Or if you want to set up any, any color here, you can do that as well. Let me just set up green here and done. Now this is how it works. Uh, we can customize the back gesture and you can also customize the buttons over here. Just enable this here and start customizing your buttons as well. This is how we can customize your navigation gestures or buttons on Navstar or Navstar on Goodlock module. And we have got a brand new feature which is being added. Now hear me out, this update is not officially available or may not be officially available. You may have to wait for it if you're on One UI 8 beta. And if you're not on One UI 8, there is no way you can activate this feature. So you'll have to wait until you get One UI 8. And if you're on One UI 8 beta, you can update the application NAV star using the latest APK. Theodism recently shared uh, this APK on his uh, X account. As you can see, uh, this is the same APK which I'm using. I will uh, share a link for this APK in the description. If you're on One UI 8 beta, go ahead and update your Navstar application. That's all I want to share with you guys. Hope you have already subscribed to the channel. Do not forget to download our wallpaper application, Volvers, and do not forget to hit the like button. Thanks for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. Cheers, bye-bye.